For a Christian to say that they love God or they know God, they must have a relationship with God, the Heavenly Father. In order to say that you love God, you must have a relationship with Him. You must have an encounter with Him. And you must know Him and His Word to know truly who He is. And to say, as a Christian, I love God and I know who He is. And I know that He sent His Son to the world to die for me and for my sins so that all humanity could be safe by the grace and the mercy and the love of God. As a true Christian to say, I know the love of God, I know, I know God, you must have a relationship with him to truly say that. Because in a relationship with a man and a woman, to say that they truly love each other, they must have a, a real relationship with each other. Not just say, I love you. Because love you is not just saying it, but it's an action. Jesus loved us so much, he died on the cross for each and one of us so that all of us could be saved. And that's why right now at this moment, we could be saved for what he did on the cross. So as Christ followers of Christ, because being a Christian is not just saying I'm a Christian because I got some Bible with me. It's not that. It's that you have a relationship with the Father. You accept the Christ as you. First, you accept the Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Second of all, that you pray that God could change your life. Changing your life and letting God change you and form you the way He wants you to be. As a Christ follower, we follow His ways and His rules and His laws. It's all listed in the Bible. We already know that. But as Christians, we don't see that. We don't listen to God's word. And to say that you're a Christian and you say the word and all that, but you don't follow it yourself, you're being a hypocrite. That's why Jesus called out the Pharisees because they were telling other people how to live by God, which wasn't really how to live by God. But they weren't even following it themselves. They lived a bad life throughout a lot of people. Jesus gave a parable about a man who entered and a man who was praising God truthfully, but a Pharisee was saying, oh, this man ain't serving God right and all that. But God saw the heart. He doesn't look at the appearance of us. He looks at our hearts. As Christians, we have to truly know what we're saying. We have to truly know what we believe in. If we believe in God, that he is the one who saved us from our sin, let's actually have a true relationship with him. And... Let's know him by reading his word, but also having a relationship, praying, and spiritually growing in him. So that when he comes, we could be prepared and ready when he comes.